Merry Christmas and welcome to Ho Ho Holy Habitus. <laughs> See what I did there. Very funny. Uh, I thought I'd keep it short and sweet today because I'm sure you've got mince pies to be a hurrying after or a one horse open sleigh to ride into the middle distance or something similar. And so uh, today I'd like to just talk briefly about the incarnation, which is what we celebrate this time of year, isn't it? John 1 verse 14 says, the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And I think in many ways that's uh, what we've been talking about in our Holy Habitus blog, about how, how do we take the message of Christ and of God's love and make it tangible and embody it in our habitus, in our day-to-day -day living, in our habits. And uh, God did that. We do that because God did that. He expressed his love and his character and his personhood, the message of Christ, in and through um, the person of Jesus of Nazareth, who was born in Bethlehem all those years ago. Um, the, well, the paraphrase of that passage in the, in the message by uh, Eugene Peterson uh, expresses it in a lovely way. It says, the word became flesh and blood and moved into our neighbourhood. And I really like that. So I thought this week, what we do, quite simple, have a bit of a brainstorm. How might we be a blessing to the people in our neighbourhood? How might we bring a touch of love or kindness or jollity even uh, into the lives of those people who live in close proximity to us? How can we be a blessing to them? Is there anyone lonely or is anyone who, who might be in need of, of a bit of a lift? How can we do that? So maybe put on a bit of paper, just brainstorm some ways. It doesn't have to be anything complicated, just to bring some love um, to those folk this Christmas. And my hope is that we ourselves will experience that blessing as we seek to bless others this Christmas time. Merry Christmas.